Hey guys, Mr. Studebaker here. Top Tractor Challenge 2019 winner. Gonna do a little walk around on Kaiser. The big fat steamrollers in the back, those are TSL ATV 26 12 by 12s. Standard rim, about eight inches wide. Makes them flat. And these tires are pretty nice, in fact, they get great forward traction and they slide really good sideways. In a tractor, you definitely need sliding sideways. Recommend these highly. Kaiser has a high-low range. There's high, there's low. He also has now been introduced to a new air filtering system. Tuned intake. Tuned intake with a John Deere 911 air filter with two inlet ports and a semi snorkel. It's a 16 horse motor, but it's not making 16. It's making like maybe over 30 and probably uh, 43 foot pounds of torque somewhere in that range. I haven't put it on a dyno or anything, but what enables it to do it is the full race cam that's installed. Not to mention the tuned exhaust on it, which was formed from two Miata headers. They're stainless steel. They're about the right size it needs to be. I've got a two disc, two stage clutch. Very important to have when you have high horsepower motor in here. They like to slip a lot. And what the bonus of this is with the two stage is that you can let the clutch out a little bit and it crawls before it goes instant on. This one's the first fire, that one's the second fire. I'm running 20 inch front max Kenda tires on one inch spindles, one inch spindles, 1440 Cub Cadet front axle. I put isolators on here so the shock loading to the frame won't be severe. So it just kind of bounces and glides over the bumps. 3,500 pound winch. I had to make this piece and bought an inch and a half hitch bolted it up welded it and away we went i also added the slider in here so when the hits hit it this will catch it on one side or the other i had to lock the pin on there because it kept twisting the bolt off i had to modify this piece because this bends under severe stress of when you're going really fast i had to add a piece of stock or a piece of stock here on the top and i had to re-weld this and shot pin the whole thing and then underneath it I had to put these little flanges in here so that way when you clamped it with your 3 8 bolt it goes tight and it doesn't come off because that's the big problem with this one so I had to fix that then your half inch shaft has to go away and you got to put a 5 8 in it half inch bends like a banana you can have a half inch on the bottom right there you need the 5 8 up on the top the biggest bang for the buck was the computer for the ignition. Programmable, any number that you want to have your timing to go to, you can hit it. That's a Dodge coil. Fire the spark plug, the gap set about 45 thousandths. Pretty nice looking machine. For me that is, I kinda love my tractor. And I installed a nice little go fast pedal took a while to figure this guy out that's one of the original holes in the Cub Cadet that I used and then that goes over to the bracket see that bracket that bracket right here shores up the Ross box to keep it from moving that thing used to move a lot under pressure and I got to thinking about it it's like you know what this thing is not so good it needs to be tightened up you can see now that it moves a little bit under pressure but that's like a quarter of what it was that thing used to move a lot that was bad news it's only held on by a little staple on this side on the other side not a good thing well that's it guys a little walk around for you oh do you think you might want to hear it running well let me hook that up for you
see if we can do something about this.